In this video, we will be going over the listing process for Turbo Lister's Live Mode. Live Mode allows you to pack boxes as you list to skip the process items and creating box content labels. However, your items may require multiple shipments to a greater number of fulfillment centers. To start listing in Live Mode, open Turbo Lister and click on the Batch tab. This will bring up the batches that are currently in progress as well as the option to begin a new batch. Click on Create a New Batch, then name your batch and fill out your preferred batch settings. SKU Prefix is a code that will be added to the beginning of your SKUs to help organize your batches. Below that, you can choose whether to add FNSKU labels to items yourself or have Amazon do it for a fee. Since we're listing in live mode, we will not need box content labels. Finally, select Live and click Create to start listing in live mode. You can choose a preset workflow or create your own using the settings on the left hand side of the screen. Here in Workflow A, pricing and grading are turned off, which means that you won't be asked to price or grade an item every time you scan it. Instead, TurboLister will use presets to automatically determine the pricing and grading. If they are turned on, then you will price and grade each item individually. Currently, the item scanned in will be priced at $100, which can be adjusted here. The cost of goods, which is how much you paid for the item, is set to $15 and can be adjusted here. Quantity determines how many of an item will be added to the batch. For example, if quantity is set to 3 and you scan an item, 3 copies of that item will be added to your batch. Here, the condition is set to acceptable, which means these notes will be added to the item. Different notes will be added to the items when different conditions are selected. You can add or remove condition notes by clicking them or by typing them into this bar at the bottom of the screen. To start listing, type or scan your items into the search bar at the top of the screen. The item will then appear here at the bottom of the screen. If the printer setting is switched to on, then TurboLister will print an FNSKU label every time you scan an item. You can then label your item covering any other barcodes, like so. Since this is live mode, once you list an item, go ahead and place it into its proper box. You should have a separate box for each fulfillment center. Once you've filled the box, go ahead and click the Ship tab at the top of the page to create a new shipment. In the Ship tab, you will see all the items in your shipment and the fulfillment centers that they are assigned to. To create a shipment, first click Select FC to select all of the items going to the same fulfillment center. Select Create Shipment to send the shipment information to Amazon. This will give you the option to either create a new shipment with the item selected or to add the item to an already existing shipment. Next, click on the Feed tab to confirm that your shipment was successfully submitted. If it was, it will say completed under the feed status column. Keep in mind that it can take a few minutes for your shipment to be successfully submitted to Amazon. Once the shipment has been submitted, you can print your shipping label. In the ship screen, click print shipping label to log into your Amazon account and enter the information for your shipment. Then, from Amazon Seller Central, you can download the box labels. Here we are in Amazon Seller Central. To download and print the box labels, go to the Prepare Shipment page to enter the shipment packing information. 
From this drop-down menu, select More Than One SKU Per Box. Since in live mode you'll only be shipping one box at a time, you can skip the box content information. Enter your number of boxes and the weight of each box in the next section. You can leave the dimensions blank. Calculate your shipping charges, agree to the terms and conditions, and accept the charges. Finally, select Print Box Labels to create a PDF of your box labels that you can print out. Then you can complete your shipment. Once you've downloaded them, open the PDF with the labels, then print them out with 4 inch by 6 inch dimensions. Be sure to select Print Amazon Shipment Label with Turbo Lister to print your labels in the correct format. Select the correct printer, then, under Properties, set the dimensions, or stocks, to 4 by 6. Then, select Landscape Mode and scale the labels to fit the page. You can then print the labels and place them on their boxes. Turbo Lister now gives you the option to reassign the fulfillment centers of all your items at once. In the ship screen, click Reassign All to reassign every item in the batch and potentially reduce split shipments. If you're still unsatisfied with the reassignment, wait 24 hours, then try to reassign them again.